Hi there, Sagittarius. It's March 2024. Um, I've just started the wheel moving here. Um, just a bit of a preliminary here on what this cluster of planets down here. It's all in the lower part of the chart. If you look across from east to west, that's the horizon. That's if you were to do that as a 3D, everything here that you see planetary wise pretty much is under the Earth, especially after the 3rd of March. And this lower portion of the horoscope has a lot to do with your domestic circumstance, your housing, your living situation, and your peace of mind, your morality, those sort of subtle components. And as I always say, home is where the heart is. So whilst the external meaning of this fourth house is your physical home, this actually has to do with how comfortable you feel in yourself. So this month, it's important to note that as the moon swings around here on the 7th of March, it will hit transformative Pluto. Pluto rules your 12th house of the past and all of those things that have held you back in a way. Mars a thoroughly positive planet for you ruling the fifth house of creativity and communicating your ideas is shown by that conjunction then that lovely soft conjunction with Venus before moving into this fourth house again along with these other planets on the 10th and forming a new moon transit here in this area so we would estimate that with this particular transit, Sage, you are going to look at redefining your living circumstances, the people you live with. If, for example, you're a younger person, you've been living with your family, this could trigger you to, you know, move out, independently find your own way. And you'll notice also on the same day, Mercury moved to the fifth house. The new moon then moves to the fifth house. Fifth house is your creativity. So you've got a lot of creative impulse here. You've got Venus moving into the fourth house there. Also on the 12th. This is a lovely placement. Uh, there's for you anyhow, because this fourth house gives directional strength to Venus. And it gives it what we call sign strength. Being in Pisces, it's most powerful position this can only be construed as a very very lovely transit for you bringing love of home family mother because the fourth house is your mother and possibly a reconnection with a lot of those aspects of your early family life this could res result in reunions of the family special gatherings or celebrations um, especially with the ruler of the seventh house mercury ruler of the tenth house mercury rules both these areas transiting the fifth house of children there could be the birth of children there could be celebrations surrounding children in the family sports events in which there are some accolades or positive uh, benefits as mercury rules this tenth house of prestige moving through this fifth out. I'm just trying to give you a little bit of a an astrological synopsis of this so uh, you don't think oh he's making all this shit up <laughs> I'm not I'm not making it up I mean you've got to use a little bit of intuition but generally here unless I'm doing a face-to-face -face consultation it will be predominantly based upon the the technicalities of astrology and how they how they work um, the other aspect here we mentioned the new moon in that fourth house of family is this full moon taking place in the zone of friendships um, affiliations uh, acquaintances and believe it or not this 11th house has to do with the fulfillment of your life plans your life desires so this is a very positive influence uh, it hits the chart on the 25th there it is there's the opposition aspect which we call a full moon definitely an opportunity for you to um, forge new relationships with people and especially because the moon rules your eighth house here which is shared resources then there's some sort of sharing going on here where 
there's a mutual exchange of ideas or financial resources, creative intellectual property, that sort of thing, uh, that can be mutually beneficial for you and the other person or other people. Bit of a low key period there. In the last couple of uh, days of the month, you see the 12th house transit of the moon and the debilitated sign of Scorpio. Um, Mars also ruling that area, having transited into your fourth house. That can bring a little bit of destabilization, a little spice and heat. It can be rather. Um, aggressive in nature needn't be fortunately you've got the controlling influences of Saturn and Venus here and of course that uh, growing the close conjunction of Venus and Neptune bringing idealism so possibly you're not going to allow a little bit of frustration and anger to overpower your better sense and that's a good thing please follow the links after subscribing we need your subscriptions please do that press the like button tell your friends and then pop over to get the rest of this month's reading at astrology.com.au we've got all the other readings there the daily the weekly and the yearly readings as well at, uh, you can create a composite here of what's happening in your life but if you want more detail on that you're more than welcome to drop me a line and i'm happy to organize an appointment to uh, tell you what i see for you personally come back next month I'll be waiting for you I'm looking forward to telling you more about your Sagittarian karma bye for now